Hi guys, welcome back. Now, most buses these days and coaches will all have reversing cameras, which is what you can see here. Now this is a cheap generic branded one. Uh, it's the Boovie, I think it's pronounced. Give away the instructions. That's the thank you for buying it, Dad. As any Chinese product, the instructions are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm trying to open the instructions here. That's the instructions. So, I don't think we need them. And we've got the camera unit, which is works quite heavy actually. It's quite looks quite a good unit. 10 meter of cable, we're probably going to need an extension. Uh, either way, it needs to go into B and C anyway, but we'll sort that out. And a power cord extension, which again, is going to need to be extended for our purposes, but we'll sort that out. So, I'm going to put this on the body mount, uh, on the head mount or body mount, whichever. Got Keen with me again, so we're going to be working at this one together. And we will get going. Be good fun, this. We'll go for about the middle, I think the middle is going to be just where that glass finishes. Yeah. Then we can take that bracket off and we can mount that then. Now this is the kind of camera you see on the trucks. So it has got infrared. It's supposed to be 12 to 24 volt, but as the instructions are a bit scaly, we're going to run it on the 12 volt system. I mean, running it on the 24 volt system would have been easy. If we wouldn't actually have to run cables the length of the bus, but unfortunately, I don't trust the Chinese instructions. I mean, we could see that it works, it's probably a good idea first. We'll see that it works by just plugging it in down here. If I can find a 12 volt feed down there. There is a metal shield round here. One there. Uh, no, we'll just we'll get on with this first because the sealant we can go in a second. You see. Now a hole in my bus. Yeah, fiberglass is really easy to get through. There we go. Do a swap drill. Can I have the riveter and the rivet, please? Spot on. the riveter so the riveter works guys by it drawing a piece of metal from behind forward every time it grips The only slight disadvantage to this approach is if we don't get it straight, it'll be fun to undo it. Yeah, we'll need the bit of sealer just to go round it at the you know at the back. I'll go build it now. Uh, you might as well wait till we've done the middle hole as well first. Yeah, you put that in. While I drill the big hole, you can watch it. And go get the sealer and the gun. Because everything here is done cheaply. Is that his mark? I should place this at some point. I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> hey, oh, that's straight in. 
not the best though aligned if I'm honest plate twat blue plate twat and it goes on anyway back to this after a bit of a break found everything we needed Not great. We'll have to go inside in a minute to pull these cables, well, to find these cables, to make sure they've actually appeared. Uh, I'm still trying to get it through the hole first. There is a size issue going on here. That is that this hole is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> right, they're going through now. Well, one has. To make it just a little bit bigger at the bottom. Just so you can slot the cable in. Power goes through it. Just getting that all over my hands. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Yeah, right, that's that through. That through. I can't remember the order that he actually went in. I think it was this order. No, because you'll make the hole too big. Then we won't be able to get a rivet back in. Why? It should still go in. What does he want now? So it's coming. It's a right weird hole in. That's the best way to describe them as well. I think that's now in the right hole. It is now. Well, oh, let's go in. Some of that silicon on the in and outside of it. Oh, that won't seal it until we know whether the camera A is the right way up. Now, inside, 
What did Matteo want? Yes, yes, yeah, he was trying to tell me a joke. Like master, but it made no sense. He's a weirdo, that's why it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. right, how are we doing? Okay. Are you sure you're not you're not actually got in there yet? What? His son was moaning that because they're buying batteries. Well, at least I you know if my batteries go missing, where they've gone missing, is there a rivet on that one? Yeah. Is it an actual active rivet or is it a hole? Active rivet. The smaller one's been pushed for big one, I think. Don't put your back into it. Mm. That's what you don't do. Quite a bit of trouble with last time getting open. Oh, there's more of that. We need pipe we need to put. No, uh, that's that's the heating piping. Oh. Just let me get rid of these rivets. Yeah, that's the piping that does the rivets. So that stuff's okay to stay, you see. Otherwise, what, what'll happen is it'll take even longer, no heat, to warm up. Take one more. Yeah. Okay, exactly. It takes about an hour for a bus to warm up at the moment. 20 minutes later. Eventually. Get open, board. Are we getting this one out as well? No, no, no. Because what we'll do is we'll use the broom head mm -hmm. to feed the cables down. Okay. You see? And here we see in the primeval two absolute baboons trying to reverse a taxi off a low loader. Today on the B10 project. And two idiots try and do this. I don't think it moves, so I think they're gonna jib it, jib it backwards so it crashes into the white taxi. Because they don't oh no, it's because the door doesn't actually attach to the cab. The only good thing about all these taxis here, which makes me feel good as a bus driver, is that there's less taxis on the road. <laughs> Have you done that broom yet? Nope. So then what we're going to do is we're going to just loosely put this on here, like so. And you're going to feed that through that back panel to make the back. Through this panel? No, this one. Do one pan at a time. So feed it through that panel? Yeah. Or through this bit here? Yeah, so up there, through that rear panel. Because I'll be able to grab it then at the back, you see. Through the rear panel? Through this one. The lead will follow you, as long as you don't step on it. Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. You may have to move seats, because 
I can't see it. I'll feel it. Yeah, because you're not here yet. Yeah, I think it's blocked off. It's not blocked off because there's heating pipes that run down there. So you may have to find that one heating pipe that you can get down. I can hear it. If not, we'll have to change tactics. Oh no, got it, got it, got it, got it. Must be quite smelly. Right, you can take the brush away. I've got the cable. Look at that for professionalism. As he falls off. So we're going to feed this at the back here. Now I'm going to need a cable tie or two. Driving on a complete big black tunnel. We're trying to. Well, that worked. I think he's stuck. Put that in there. So we have a video feed. We just need power. <laughs> now, they, now they're absolutely confused. YouTube stars. Come on. It, so we're going to have to run the entire length cable anyway. So let's get it attached back to the brush where we've got. Del boy and Rodney try and unload a car. You are witnessing one of nature's great phenomena. One that, sadly, over the years, David Attenborough has ignored. It's called the Trotter Brothers trying to park a three wheel van. We've got to get at the end of that panel, and I'll feed this down to you. Got it. Got it. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Well, that panel we're going to need to be inventive. Can't we just make it pull longer? Well, by we could do. With your bag taking it off with a mop. And then, like, do we have any tape? Do you want to get them really sh so we can open the cupboard up? They're the ones. I've got the mop. Well, I'd say I've got the mop. It's not really much of a mop anymore. My brush had better work after I've done this. Camera, the camera donated to me. I have to buy my own brush. Oh my lord. Jesus. That's, like That's how you don't do that. So with this, look, we only have to open one side for both sides to fall out. And it's not full of water. It's not full of water. No. Right, we need two. Don't be, it's a taxi. We need to be able to feed this behind. Well, preferably behind this metal panel. And fit, but the problem is it then turns and then doesn't fit. What if we get it? Oh no, the electric cupboard's blocked off. No, you've got to go through the top corner of the electric cupboard. Top corner of the electric cupboard. Yeah, because this cable here mm -hmm. is that CCTV camera. Mm -hmm. So we just have to follow that cable. Yeah, uh, th there's a few issues happening at this very moment in time. Can't seem to find a way to the pole. I want to see the pole. You see the pole? I don't know. I think they're looking at what they've got stored. Right, 
Right, this panel. Ow! That's really struggling with this one. It's coming out now. We might be okay now, you know. Mm. Because I can get to here. Yeah. Can you see an electric cupboard in the very top? Corner. Yeah. There's a little hole in there. Is there? Yeah, a little hole. A couple of days coming through it. Yeah, but also at the very back of that corner, yeah. where the piping's coming through, you might be able to just see right up the edge. Mm -hmm. That's the other hole. Now the cable that we've got is actually right there. Has it come? Has it come through? No. Oh no. What? Yes, there was a massive crack in that. Because for some reason, they're glued together at the top for some reason. That's just stupid. Ah! Both panels don't move together though, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll be able to get it. But you see, the advantage is now is because we've done that, if you pass us the cable, we shouldn't actually have to drill any holes. That passes the cable again. And try to grab this on the electric side. Still a stupid black panel in the way. You got it? Yeah, got it. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. Right, stop, 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 stop. Just keep it there. Just means we might end up nipping out to go get the bits we need. We're going to Might do to go get the bits. How much cable we got left? Not a lot. So I could get it. This is how far I could get it. Right, and what we need to do is we need to get it to here, to that top corner there, to feed it through to get it into here. At least. Ideally, be fine. Ideally we could just feed it straight through. To come through here, at the top panel there, mm -hmm. straight through there. So what we might do is just nip nip there in the car. Right. So I'm gonna feed this through to you in that cupboard, alright? It's gonna come through the top somewhere. I'd, I'd love to give you a more precise location, but I can't really see myself. Should be coming through now. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Right, so we actually only need, you're supposed to link up the grounds, which is the outer core. Mm -hmm. Well, we only need the blue. I was just thinking, I've just messed that up. Can you get from the back, yeah. in that, know that big tub of tools? There should be some heat shrink. Heat shrink. It's little black bits. Oh. And a lighter. Oh. I don't think that's the same. Yeah, hold that. That's all both sides, just hold that. Done. 
leave it to cool down. Put it down. It cools down quite quickly. That just insulates that. So we've got now our connection for up here. So you'll be able to pull the lead in a minute. The red one we've been working with. Uh, yeah, just give it a second. Give me a second. No, uh, you we will do, but for no, no, because what we're gonna do is you'll see. Don't waste any lead. Oh. Right, so pull that. Pull it as far as I can. Yeah, yeah, so say stop. That's the far as Keep going. Mm. See the angle it comes through the cupboard. You may be best. You may be best because we're straining the rest, he's pulling it through from here and then pulling the excess snow through that way. So can you see it on top of that interlock? Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Loads, loads, loads yet. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. That'll do, because idiot ear hasn't fed it the right way, but that'll do. Oh. Right, so that's it. Now connected to the monitor, so if we'll go into... Oh, no, that's the power button, you t no, it's not. That AV2. That's all the way? Yeah, yeah, all the way. Yep. Is that okay? Yeah, fold the metal metal cable, the one that's metal only back. Metal only back. You got two. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could do. We could have done with a bit more off there, if I'm honest. About that. Uh, no, because we don't need that much. Because you've already got some off. About there, yeah. Right. At least slightly like, now, because you cut the cable completely again. Right, it does take a bit of knacking to get used to. You've just seen even I f up. Right. I've now just got one strand of wire. So this is why you cut extra off, because it doesn't go to plumb. Five, up there. There you go. Just go to your, sometimes you have to root it off, sometimes you just have to go to your field, no resistance on it. Mm -hmm. And that one can just go in the M4. So, do you want to get the lighter? Yeah. It's not the appropriate tool for the job, that, but not too close. It's because you're the wrong side, that's why. Not too close. You want the heat, not the flame. Is it? Yeah. And just. Yeah. Use the magical well, as you pass it through, it shrinks to the top then. What you don't want to do is when you first do it, do it right at the top because what will happen is the blue flame at the bottom is so hot, it will just shrink it and then you'll end up with a big hole in your heat shrink. Because mm -hmm. even in a car, you can use any part of the metal body mm. as your ground. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get that really f***ed down. Which is yeah. down here. Yes. Tripod that you destroyed because it didn't work. No, it's the tripod of uh, extending L. arms and yeah, it doesn't work very well. But it, but it does work very well as a um, door strut. <laughs> oh, See, so technically you could use, say, not like the ground off that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another ground somewhere that you can that comes in. So one of them will be a ground. Jesus. The what? gas ran out. Great. F pile of sh. <laughs> that doesn't really help the matter, does it? Like staying like that. So one of them is ground. So if we actually turn the power off. I don't think they can see anything. 
Oh no. <laughs> I think. Can you put it on the actual inside? Well, I can't make it go down, but this little f sh door can. Lock that one off. Lock that one off. Right, let's see if that works. So if we get the meter, I'm sure that black one is a ground. Mm -hmm. So we can just put one of them bits on, another one of the fish plates. Yeah. Put the camera straight into there. That's grounded. And then all we have to do is run one wire, the length of the f again, mm. to get the power. Yeah. But there's a metal bar up there that is part of the grounding system. I do have lights here which have a ground. Stuff. Yeah, but the problem is I've heat shrunk them already. Mm. So you might have to cut the heat. No, 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 really sure. no. What, what, what we'll do? Is you get a little bolt. Yeah. A bolt. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this round here. Mm -hmm. Like so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Screw, a, screw another bolt on, and that'll be that grounded. Because if you look, yeah, if I put that back to continuity, put that there, yeah. So this is the ground of the bus, yeah, because mm -hmm. that is the actual electrical connection ground. We have a ground to there, yeah, mm -hmm. but we have a ground to there as well. So if we just, well, even even better, what we could do is put one of these on that. Yes, that's the right size. Immediately put that straight onto there. Tighten that up. Right, so the camera now has ground. So all we've got to do is run this to the front from 12 volts. It's revving the engine a bit hard. It's revving the engine hard. A bit odd. Well, a bit odd the way it's revving it. The compressor was running. That's because the battery voltage was low. Tuna block is broken, we've only got one half of it. So what I'm doing is I'm feeding much of the cable down. All the way through. Hold that back slightly. Makes it a bit fatter. You taking notes at least? Are you taking notes? Yeah, at least of what I'm doing. in there right so now <laughs> you're, not very, you're not very confident in this are you that in there that. right <laughs> really need a bigger terminal block oh for this no. what yeah, but then doors. It's not as bad. As what was. It's 
don't know. I just wonder when this place was a scrapyard. When it was. What was it a scrapyard? Well, they seem to think it is. Well, they just found a random like, piece of metal and brick and stuff in the ground. I still got. But that bumpy could cut the grass. I know. Right. That was stupid, wasn't it? Um, it's upside down. We could just turn that upside down. Well, then the inside camera's going to be upside down. You <laughs> palonka! But we, we won't be using the inside camera because we're using that. No, because what? I only want to use that one in reverse. You could just get another one and turn it upside down. Maybe it's that expensive. That means going putting it the right way, doesn't it? Yes. Right, well, reversing camera works, the other camera still works, so that's all that done. So all we've got to do is put these panels back, and you don't want to see us put panels back. So we'll do it, I'll record it, but it's going to be a time lapse, because who wants to see us put panels back? Yeah, it is boring. Right, let's get on with it. You know the drama is never... Baby. 